Good Lord. Oh, do I like? Oh, I think I've just ruptured my spleen. Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning into the Canadian Maker Project. My name here is Ron. I am here to help your creativity and understanding 3D printing. And today I got a very special episode. So <laughs> as you saw in the beginning, that was me lifting up a big, heavy box. I've had this box kind of sitting there for a long period of time. And this episode is going to be concentrating mostly on that. So without further ado, we'll go back to the area and we'll open it up and we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. Hi everybody, welcome back. So now that we're at the table, let's open this baby up. Don't want to knock anything flying here. So I'm just going to be very careful putting this down. Haven't had time to really clean up my desk. Been so busy with school and everything else. But anyways, that's not what you're here for. You're here to see this. I ended up getting the Voron. So let's look at the Voron, shall we? Yeah, nothing fancy here. This is just a bunch of the uh, plates that we need to do. So we need to unwrap them all, set them up, get them all set up. But that's the building blocks for this. All right, we're going to move this off to the side. I don't have anything nearby to put on. Bear with me. Okay. So in here is all the parts that we need. We got our bag of screws. That's great. You see? We have our Bowden tube and all the gears we need. This is great. We have the wires cut, terminated, ready to put in right away. We got our fans and our blower. Our uh, cable chain. This is a special. This is the octopus board. It no longer says Big Tree Tech. They got BQ written on this. So let's have a look at this. Oh, and look what we got. A rubber ducky. Which speaks very quietly. So we get the board, the USB cable, and all the connections, and everything else to go with this. The drivers are in another box. I believe these are it. These are 2209 drivers. Yep, and they're all in this box. You guys can see, hopefully. Unfortunately, I'm not near the camera, so I can't see what I'm showing you guys, so I do apologize. I want to make sure you guys get the best quality video anyway, so that's why I not, can't look at the camera right now. Trust me, if I have to shoot this again, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> okay, it looks like weather stripping. A lot of tape. Interesting. We got another fan. Some spongy... I guess this is supposed to be like a filter. A sensor for the bed leveling. A 32 gig SD card. The cable ties. Sorry, not cable ties. Um, our belts. Where did I get cable ties from? I don't know. Power cord. Got a little box here. This is for the power supply for the uh, bed. In here is another rubber ducky. And we get a B-Tech color LCD screen. And this is the best thing to get. This is the power supply. This is a Meanwell power supply, fanless. So this is rated for 
Let's have a look here. So this can go up to to um, 100, 240, uh, 4 amps. Output is 24 volts at 0.6 amps. So that's 600 amp meters. Okay, pretty powerful. Your power cable, power turn on and off. Uh, power adapter, power fuses, everything we need to get powered up. And we got some extra clips and whatever we need in case the wire breaks or whatever. So we got extras of those too. So this thing goes with almost everything you need, everything you need to build it except for a Raspberry Pi, which don't worry, we got a solution for that too. Like I said, I'm buying parts um, little by little for what we need for this thing. Also on this side. Uh, all are. Sliders. Yeah, ball bearings, linear rails. Let's get to the next level. Which is the nice one. Ooh, we need, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got our three, 350 by 350 Voron um, magnet with PEI sheet. And it's a textured PEI sheet, not a, um, oh, what do you call it? Not the usual, like you'd see down that side, we have the um, other side texture sheet. Well, not textured, it's flat. But you know what I mean. Here's something kind of interesting. This is the bed. So they give me uh, some information on here. This is precision machine cast aluminum plate. So the surface has a mark, a process, and we test it for flatness on the plate is zero to zero point one millimeter. That is really good. It's thick. It's heavy. It's aluminum, so it's nice and shiny. Uh, the actual thickness of this, I believe, is, I want to say five millimeters? Maybe 10? Yeah, I think this is 10 millimeters, if I remember correctly. And then as also we get the Kevlar power mat, which gets connected to a device to power it up. So it's a, it's a basically a heated bed comes from the uh, power source of that smaller version of things. And also, what's nice, they actually terminated this with actual ferrules. How nice is that? I don't know if you guys can see that. Those are ferrules, baby. Yeah. Okay, that's my COD customs I had to fill out when getting this machine shipped to me. Uh, instead of going with a bomb, we decided to I decided to order it straight from um, a company known as Form Labs. So Form Labs sent me all this. This is awesome stuff. So instead of getting the mortars that I wanted, which were the LD, LDO mortars. I ended up getting moon mortars. Uh, they are NEMA 17 mortars. Yeah, they're two-phase stamper mortars, 24 amps. And MS 17. Yeah, these are supposedly really good. Um, I mean, I would prefer an LDO mortars, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, and I got this at such a good price. Bearings. The pancake mortar also is in here too. So 
So that's where they probably extruded her stuff. They're all two phase, 1.8 amps. This is the for the heated bed. We also got another bucket full of parts. My little screws and everything else. Probably for assembling the extruder and everything else. Whole bunch more bearings. Yep, these are Fushi bearings. Ten pieces in each box bottle. Got some gears. And last but not least, all the clamps for all the steel beams we got. These are all it's all like 10 2020 extrusions. I don't think I have any 2040s in here. But like I said, I haven't gone through this whole box yet. There's still more for me to unpack and rails. And we also have all the printed parts. Uh, thanks to one of my friends at work. He has a Voron 1.0 and we were printing all the parts on there. So I have a box full of parts that already have the heat inserts done. Uh, thanks to him. I really do appreciate it. I and that's it. I bought this back in November of all things, guys. Back in November. I know. I am... It's been too long sitting in this box. But the problem is I haven't had the time to work on this. And uh, we'll go back to the room and we'll uh, talk about this a little bit more. And I can explain you what's going on. Anyways, guys. Let's get going. Okay, so we're back now. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you saw how big that box was. It was heavy, and it was really hard to pick up. Um, well, hopefully, the video came out good. Like I said, it wasn't in front of the camera. Couldn't point the camera at me to see what I was looking at. So hopefully, everything turned out well. I'm not going to do a second date because if I could, if I could, it would kill me. Just saying. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk a little bit more about the um, everything that's in that box. So. The box itself weighs a ton. This is one heavy printer. And it, once I build it, it's not moving anywhere. I've been told by a lot of my friends, once you build it, you never move it because it's that heavy. So I'm thinking to myself, damn. So I got some decisions to make. I am going to buy, I am thinking of just buying a lac table and putting that on it and just have it run on there. You know, like lac tables are cheap. They're not that expensive, but for a printer that size and that heavy, I don't want to be constantly lifting it up and bringing it back down, lifting it up, bring it back down. Um, I only have one workbench. That's it. And as you saw, that workbench is a disaster. I got to clean it up before I even attempt to do the uh, Voron. The question I have for you is, when do you want me to do this Voron? So the reason I bring that up is right now I have a lot on my plate. Right now, we just recently launched the Vortex. If you have not seen the Vortex, I'll have a link in the description in my window. Because I want, well, actually, no, I can't put in those links yet. So <laughs> let me rephrase that. Link will be down in the description. The, Vor the Vortex is something new from CNC Labs. Uh, our team has been working on it for months. When I mean months, I mean months. This has been kind of the breaking, make it or break it mode. Our engineers have been working a nonstop hard. Well, I shouldn't get to use ours because not my company, but I work for the company. Disclaimer. So we've been work they've been working hard on that item. I've been doing the most of the printing that's required for that. And I know that we're just waiting for parts still, but the launch video is already launched. I know they got the pre-order already out. If you're interested in CNC, check out the Voron video. You'll be pleased that you did. It's a really amazing video. They did a lot of good work. And just know that I'm the one that prints all the parts for it. So, you know, you're getting good quality parts because, well, I'm they're helping out with all the prints. Anyways, 
I'm getting way off topic here. But that was one of the major things that we were working on. Also, I decided to learn Nihongo, uh, a.k.a. Japanese. And my Nihongo is uh, getting better. Um, I can now put sentences together, have an idea of how to reply. But I'm not there yet. And I think it's going to take another year. Of, I think it's going to take another year, like level two Japanese, before I'm even at the point where I feel comfortable ordering all the time. I've already started ordering in Japanese. I gave it a shot a couple of days ago. Uh, and it was particularly crazy. Um, what do I mean by crazy? I mean, I forgot a couple of things. I was fumbling a little bit, that type of mode. <laughs> a lot of the girls were like, you know, don't worry, don't worry, your Japanese okay. I'm like going, no, my Japanese is terrible. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm trying my best. That's all I can do. But I'm enjoying the course right now that I'm taking. I'm learning a lot of Japanese, and it's been a lot of fun. Those happen on Wednesday nights. So that leaves me Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday. Sorry, Thursday. Because sometimes on Fridays I have baseball. And yes, I love watching baseball. Um, so being in Canada, in the Toronto area, I have the option to watch the Toronto Blue Jays play baseball in Toronto. And as I'm not a big sports fan, okay, so don't get me wrong, I love watching Major League Baseball. Why do I like it? It's like a game of chess. It's the pitcher versus the hitter. And there is something about that game that just, I get drawn to it like so much. I've watched Toronto Blue Jays play. I've watched... On TV, I watch the New York Yankees play. I don't know what it is, but I get drawn to the TV when baseball's on. And it's kind of my curse. Also, with new TV starting up soon in September. <laughs> you see where this is going? <laughs> I have no free time. It feels like every time I turn around, something new is going on. And that's why I'm asking you guys, what would be the best time for me to do it for you, the viewer that's watching me right now. When do you want to see me uh, do this? Comment down below, please. We are at the, we can now go for partnership. This has been impressive. YouTube has changed a couple of settings. I still need to get the watch hours up, which I know I'll get that once I get the Voron going. But I want to ask you guys out there, do you win? And how do you want me to do this? Because I really want to get those watch hours up so that you guys can watch me do whatever I need to do to get this war on working. Hell, I may even electrocute myself. Hey, there's something that you might want to watch. Me getting electrocuted. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for sticking around. I know it's been a lot of question marks and everything else. I got one more video I do need to film. Uh, that will be coming out later. Before you even get started on the Voron. But if you guys want to see the Voron built live, which I will do live, I want to know what's a good day for you, the viewer out there. Do you want it on like a Monday, a Tuesday? Well, Tuesday might be tough, but we'll figure out something out. Thursday, Friday is when I don't have a baseball game. Saturday is when I don't have a baseball game. Sunday is when I don't have a baseball game. Yeah, so maybe you guys can promote me, get me off of my butt, and <laughs> get me moving so we can get this done. Um, also, how does this new microphone sound? I never got any reviews on the last video I did. So if you haven't seen the last video I did, link up in the description, or yeah, you'll see a card pop up. Or comment down below. Let me know how this microphone sounds. I don't think a lot of people commented. I got like, oh, it looks nice. How does it sound? Are you happy with the new sound? Are you happy with the more clarity I'm getting? Come on, guys. Comment. And females, too. You know, I want to say thank you to everyone that does this. Listen, if you haven't hit the subscribe button right now, I want you to hit it right now. Because I don't want you to miss when I go live. Because I go live random. 
uh, for the last couple of weeks, days, whenever I have time, I, I try to go live. And I like to see you guys, you know, link up, hit the sub so you guys get the notes when I go live. Ring the bell. The bell is your best bet to know when I go live because that bell will notify on your cell phone if you have it set up or you can still get a car popping up in YouTube when I do go live. I want everybody to be able to watch me when I go live because I can have so much fun and interact with you, the viewers yourselves, so I know who I'm talking to. Like, I mean, my last video I had, let's see, I had, um, who did I have on last time? I think I had 3D Medic Vince. He's always been popular in the channel. I had a couple other people pop up, just random. Uh, new people found the channel, so to the new people that did subscribe, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, hey guys, I'll be back. Comment down below. I need to know when do you want this. You got to comment. If you don't comment down below, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one.